Here he, we, we have the newborn town hill pork for the it will be available starting for 2014 September and it's a complete new pork uh, for the 10 years anniversary of the triple eight we have the triple eight 10 years and we have called the new pork 380 also because the stand can still stay on 38 millimeter it's a complete new design everything new New button case with uh, a new arch. We save lots of weight on the new button case compared to the current triple eight, and uh, we got a better rigidity compared to the current one. Button case fits both 26 wheels and 27.5. It will be also available a different uh, crown offset if required, depending on the frame geometry and rider needs. We changed the pinch ball position uh, with a complete new shape on the bottom side of the bottom case. And we also uh, use a new axle taper. So we save uh, more than 30 grams only on the axle. And thanks to the new axle, you can screw the axle on the fork only with one Allen key. No more needs of two Allen key because uh, on the other side you have uh, a special design and it's automatically fixed on the back of this. New seal kit, uh, SKF design a special race seal for the new fork uh, to improve the smoothness and the feeling of the fork. New lower crown design, uh, drilling uh, machining uh, through this point the crown is hollow inside to save weight. The fork will be available both in standard taper tube or taper tube. And going to hydraulic, new features even on internals. On the top, low speed, high speed compression adjust. On the bottom, low speed, high speed rebound adjust. The cartridge is uh, a complete new philosophy, quite new in the mountain bike, uh, but uh, used since years uh, in the motorbike business. Mazaki was the first to use this kind of cartridge in the motorbike, but it's already used by other brands too in the motorbike. And uh, we call this cartridge Dynamic Bleed Cartridge. Uh, we can get the best from a sealed cartridge and an open butt system, being sure that the cartridge always works properly. And uh, a nice feature for a uh, garage tuning is that you can also unscrew the compression group, work on the shim stack, put it back and ride without unmount the fork from the bike or without performing oil bleeding. On the other side, we will keep uh, titanium spring and mechanic preload. The fork uh, has uh, the weight of an air fork, but it's a coil fork. The weight is uh, uh, two kilo, 790 grams. Uh, it means uh, a bit more of 6.02 uh, liters. Uh, in order to offer a full package to our downhill riders, we also design a complete new downhill shop. We really start from a blank page and trying to achieve two main goals. Have a real light coil shock with uh, all important features by the point of view of tunability. The motto c 2 hair features low speed, high speed, compression adjust and low speed rebound adjust and it's available in uh, two versions in this version you also have uh, the vol volume adjust on the piggyback following the same philosophy you get on the 380 on the new fork you can unscrew the compression group and work on the shim stack put it back and ride if you want to make a pro tuning uh, uh, 
on your compression behavior. We increase the shaft of the shock to 14 millimeters to have a better oil flowing and a better behavior of the coil shock. And for the first time, we design a special, unique piece. You can take out the spring without take out the rebound adjust like in the past. And you can see the shaft is a unique piece. This part is not threaded in the shaft, but is a unique monocle piece. So we get two goals. It's light and it's more strength. We put rubber protection to avoid that the spring damage the body. Hard anodization on the piggyback and on the main body. On the preload, we put uh, a special screw, so once you get the right preload, you can screw and you don't risk to damage the body because there's a special Teflon treatment and so the screw can go on the body. The shock uh, is really light, the body weight only 365 grams without spring and bushing of course, but it's really, I would say, one of the lightest coil shock in the market.